so I am uh, here to discuss the uh, other scopes of the clinical pharmacy in my this video. Uh, so the pharmacist can also work as a drug information specialist as the clinical pharmacist uh, is an expert on the drugs. Uh, he knows about the adverse drug reactions, about the interactions, about the proper use, about the route of the medication. So uh, he or she may operate a drug information services uh, with the help of the drug uh, DPIC, Drug and Poison Information Center. Uh, and uh, uh, through this, uh, he or she can uh, utilize the uh, clinical uh, drug literature, effectively utilize the clinical drug literature and uh, the pharmacist can actively communicate the drug information to the patients or the, to the physicians or other healthcare providers or he can or he or she can also help during the medical emergencies uh, in case of poisoning. Uh, by suggesting the antidote of the poison or by providing the immediate information on uh, in case of any poisoning or overdosing of the drug. Uh, so the pharmacist can utilize the three type of uh, literature to uh, give the drug information. Uh, number one is the primary literature, number two secondary literature and number three tertiary literature. The primary literature is basically the original research paper or uh, any new scientific discovery and uh, example is the original research paper published in any article in peer reviewed journal or the secondary literature is the summary uh, that synthesize the primary literature. It is uh, the basically the review articles of uh, research papers. And the third one is the tertiary literature uh, which has which is the summary or the condensed ver versions of the material and uh, it is this information is taken from the primary as well as secondary sources and this is the most authentic uh, uh, resource to give the information uh, about the drug and it includes the textbook, dictionaries, encyclopedias, handbooks, softwares, Medscape, Lexigomp, etc. Pharmacist, uh, clinical pharmacists can also work on the retail pharmacy stores and uh, many OTC drugs have the potential to interact with the prescription drugs. So the clinical pharmacist at the retail uh, pharmacy can maintain the patient drug profiles, family uh, drug profiles or patient records based upon uh, which the pharmacist can counsel the patient each time while uh, filling the prescription and he can uh, also determine the patient responses to the drug therapy and also help him or her in the selection and the proper use of the OTC drug. The clinical pharmacist can also counsel the discharge patients uh, to increase the patient compliance. Uh, the compliance can be uh, the compliance to the drug can be improved by educating and by counseling the patient at the time of the discharge from the hospital uh, as well as while dispensing the uh, drug at the retail counters of the retail pharmacy and the patient may be made aware of the purpose of medication, uh, proper mode of administration, dosage schedule and the storage conditions. Uh, by counseling of the clinical pharmacist. Uh, he may also aware of any potential adverse effect or the side effect that may be expected or any drug interaction uh, that may occur uh, during the therapy. So the clinical pharmacist can avoid uh, these issues by counseling the discharge patient or while, or while filling the 
prescriptions at the retail counters he may uh, increase the patient compliance to the drug therapy and uh, the clinical pharmacist can also attend the clinical rounds uh, or he can join the uh, medical team of the doctors nurses and other healthcare professionals to conduct the ward rounds in hospitals and he can inter, uh, he can help the uh, physicians or other healthcare professionals uh, by intervening the medication order according to the condition of the patient uh, the clinical pharmacist can also uh, help in the clinical research and uh, in conducting the continuous education program, uh, continuous medical education CME programs uh, and uh, he can also uh, participate in the evaluation of the uh, investigational drugs or the clinical pharmacist uh, help in conducting the clinical trials of uh, any medication and uh, he or she can also develop the training programs for the pharmacist or the nurses or the interns or the other healthcare professionals uh, to give the uh, proper education and how to counsel the patient and the, uh, and the trainings of the clinical practice. Uh, so the clinical pharmacy practice areas are the ambulatory care, critical care, drug information centers, uh, geriatrics uh, or the uh, uh, geriatric clinics or the internal medicines, cardiology, endocrinology, gastroenterology, pediatrics, pharmacokinetic surgery. The pharmacist can also specialize in uh, anti-coagulation therapy or as well as the uh, anti-infective therapies. So the goal of the clinical uh, pharmacist is to promote the correct and the appropriate use of the medicinal agents or the products as well as the medicinal devices and for this uh, he or she must have uh, to engage himself in the activities uh, like the uh, maximizing the clinical uh, effect of the drug to maximize the effect of the uh, clinical effect of the drug or to minimize the risk of the treatment induced adverse effects of the drugs or to minimize the expenditures for the pharmacological treatment uh, to minimize the uh, burden on the patient uh, here you can see the clinical pharmacy requirements this is the patient care uh, to provide the patient care you must know about the uh, laboratory uh, test and the diagnostic skills you must know the normal laboratory values so you can differentiate with the normal and the abnormal ones and uh, you must have the knowledge of the disease you uh, the clinical pharmacist must have the knowledge of the drug therapy the clinical pharmacist must uh, have the knowledge of uh, non-drug therapies or the uh, physical therapies etc and the clinical pharmacist uh, has the therapeutic planning skills to provide the proper patient care and uh, he uh, must have the skills to provide the drug information to the patient or to the healthcare providers or uh, he must know about the physical assessment uh, skills of the assessment skill uh, to examine the to examine the uh, physical diagnosis and uh, the patient monitoring skills uh, should be there and at uh, in the end he or she must have the communication skills so he can counsel the patient properly about the therapy of the drug.